All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Chachrash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. This is going to be a really quick video. I'm on the road, you know, and the spirit just hit me. I, I can't even wait to do it. I might end up doing a live stream out of it still, uh, if not tomorrow, you know, Lord willing. But the fact that we have to keep the faith, y'all. Our faith in this, I'm sitting here driving, you know, now here it is. And, oh, okay, that just reminded me of another video I want to do. You know, it's no coincidence, a lot of these holidays that happen in the world tend to be on camp days or on a Sabbath day. So the Heavenly Father, you know, these people, their very feast that they partake in is, is, is their trial against their face that they were wicked. You know, but basically... The people of this world, you know, they can't see past anything, which is why they don't have faith in the prophecies of this Bible, y'all. Our faith is what is keeping us going, literally. All right, we got to have that faith like Noah. Although what we're seeing or although what we're talking about has yet to manifest itself, we have to make preparations for it as if it is literally in front of us. It hadn't rained in Noah's time, y'all. You got to think. Noah was considered a fucking crazy man. They would have been calling Noah crazy to his face, saying that he's fucking insane. And what did it, and what, what started happening? Let's get that out of Matthew. They would have said, oh, nigga, oh, nigga. They was calling him all types of everything. Whatever the equivalent to the N-word was back then, he would have felt it, all right? Matthew 24 and what is it, 38? It says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right there. So they didn't believe Noah. They thought he was full of it, which is why everyone carried on with their life. But we didn't carry on with our life. At the moment of hearing this word, we were overturned, all right, and enveloped in zeal. And we have to use that energy momentum and keep it going. That's why you're not hanging out with your homies like that no more. That's why you didn't put down the blunts and and, and, and and drugs if you was into that shit. If you sisters, that's why you you know, hey, you not a hoe in these streets no more, or you bet not ought to be. All right, our faith has to be of that of our ancestors, y'all, to completely up and avert your lifestyle based off of the spirit. Hey, hey what was said to Abraham? Right here, Genesis 12 and 1. Now the Lord had said unto him, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Another example, Abraham. With his faith, he went and got up and left his entire homeland. No, no, no questions fucking asked. No holds barred. This is the type of faith that it's going to require for us to make it to the kingdom, y'all. And we're almost here. And it's crazy because as close as we are, the people of this world don't see it, you know. My dad talking about he wanted <laughs> my dad talking about he wanted me to come hang out for Christmas. I'm going to be at camp on Christmas, man. I'm going to be prophesying in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I keep forgetting. What is it? Is the 25th on Saturday, y'all? I don't even know what uh, uh, today's Tuesday, the 21st. I don't even count the days anymore. We're not we're not going we're we're going to be doing the work of the Lord. I'm going to I'm going to be sure to stay the fuck away from everybody. I'm hanging out with the brothers till 4 a.m. <laughs> God damn it. We don't care about anything else. We've abandoned everything and that's the way that it has to be. That's the way that it has to be, y'all. This Hey, let me get that. Uh, out of Hebrews we, we we haven't seen it We haven't touched it We can't prove it At least uh, You know uh, Metaphysically The way that Esau Edom He'll go take a, a, a microscope And say here You know Boom You know We can't do that Not yet But we still believe And that belief Has to carry you Alright Do not abandon it Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. That's how we're going to make it up out of here, by having faith. You 
can't never go wrong with a little bit of faith in your cup. All right, not Folgers, nigga. Faith. That's all that you need. I was listening to the brother. Uh, let me see if I can pull this video up. You know, go watch it. All right, this brother right here, Mike Ala, out of the uh, LA camp. You know, this video is one of the ones that, you know, partially inspired me. It says you're supposed to feel that way, chafed in the minds. And he's basically speaking on how the fact that all this suffering that we go through, it keep us it keeps us separate from the people of this world so that all we look towards anyway is the truth. All we can hope for is the kingdom to come because this world is filthy. Every day as we get closer, y'all, I spend my waking moments and my sleepless nights vexed the fuck out to where this, this world is so wicked and motherfuckers still, y'all still want this? You still want to, you still want your child to make it to a sweet 16? That'd be what, the year 2032 or some shit? With all this, this, your, your son would be a girl or whatever new word they have by then, you know, all this shit is about to come to a helm. This shit's about to stop. Let me see another video right here from the brother. Uh, I believe this is the brother Ramakia out of Chicago, GMS New Don. Come check him out. Type it in. Do you believe y'all? You gotta believe, but hey, that share song. Do you believe? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, do you believe in love after love? God damn it! We have to believe. We have to believe like Moses. We gotta believe like uh, Abraham. We have to believe like Noah. Them motherfuckers didn't believe. Well, I bet you they started believing when water was in their damn lungs. That's when that boat became really important. That boat became a hot commodity. When niggas eyeballs was exploding because waters was bursting through their goddamn bodies. Alright. The men of the Lord are gonna are gonna become hot tots in that on, in that day. The same crazy men, you motherfuckers, you look down on us. That's fine. You know, I'm hey, you know. I've always been a social reject, you know. I've been not fucking with niggas. <laughs> You know, brothers that, uh, the shit, the brother Ariak can attest. I've been that weird black dude. Shit ain't never been new, you know? So that, that, that portion of coming into the truth, that wasn't too hard of a pill to swallow. I've been not liked you. I've been not liked a lot of motherfuckers. But now we have a proper reason. Now we know that this world is filled with wickedness. That's why we don't have the aspirations that these fuckers do. And even when we were in our folly in the world, when we were chasing shadows, we were still different. All right. Let me come back. We have we have to maintain our faith to carry us the rest of the way. The people of this world, they don't have any vision, which is why they're going to do what? Fail. Proverbs, what is that, 28? Uh, let me see. It's either 28 or 27. Got the thing blocking me off. Proverbs, is it? No, 29 and... Is it 17? Let's see. Let me think for a second. 18. Perfect. Proverbs. Turn, motherfucker. Proverbs 29 and 18. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Right there, y'all. So these people don't have the vision. They can't see afar off. They don't believe in prophecy. Your mama don't believe in prophecy. Your pops probably don't believe in prophecy. Your cousins, your uncles, your aunties, your homies in the world. How many times you gonna tell your homie in the world he an Israelite? And this nigga just act like you didn't say nothing. This nigga keep coming around talking about big booty Keisha. Man, fuck that nigga, dog. Let that nigga be. He don't have the vision. You know, so, hey, keep it amongst the brotherhood. You know, you wanna go out? Ask brothers if brothers wanna go out or whatever the hell. Wanna go out to eat or step out or whatever the hell go to the gym fuck these people in the world man they don't reach out to us they they don't they don't reach out to us for uh uh for help you know so let these people do let they non-vision having asses blind asses do what like it said in matthew all right and are they blind in the fact that they don't have eyes no they got eyeballs they got two some of these niggas might have a third shit bugged out motherfuckers taking that jab they might be growing a motherfucking fifth but what type of vision is it talking about matthew 15 and 14 let them alone they be blind leaders of the blind and if the blind lead the blind 
both shall fall into the ditch, the ditch, Salakia. All right. What type of vision is that talking about? It's dealing with the spiritual vision, y'all. They're going to fail and perish because they don't believe in what's coming. These motherfuckers are going to die. Let them fall into their holes. Let these people perish. They don't have the vision. They don't have the faith. Then fuck them. All right. Faith over, faith over everything. Fuck these people. I can't express that enough. This is this is this is a, a, a daggone shame. As close as we are to the end of the world, you still have all these fucking raging retards, faithless fools, scumbags, whatever word is most convenient. You go to break down a scripture and the motherfucker looking at you sideways. Y'all going to find out. Y'all going to find out the same way that all those humans did in the time of Noah. All right. Found out. They're going to find out the same way that those people in Sodom and Gomorrah found out, which is through what? A death by fucking pain. The Lord don't don't let the wicked go off easy, slip off into the spiritual realm and, the, and you'll sleep. Uh uh, baby. And if they did, they probably born back a baby now to catch this final this final judgment. All right. And it's rightfully so. All right. Don't don't fret these people. Let our your let your faith be the the boat that guides you to salvation the same way that it did for Noah. Right here, Romans three. It says, "For what is some, but you know, real basic lesson, y'all. Just an exhortation, man. Just an exhortation, because we're that special grape, Lord willing. This faith is really we're we're looking we're in this world and we're looking so clean, far past it, y'all. I'm telling you, I spend the majority of my time." And I know all of y'all do too. Thinking about scriptures, thinking about the brotherhood, thinking about prophecy, thinking about the kingdom, thinking about righteousness, abhorring wickedness. That's what 90% of damn 98% of my functioning brain power in a day by the time I it's the end of the day, I'm exhausted mentally. I didn't spend the whole day doing nothing but thinking about the truth while in the middle of work. All right, just to the point you'd be in the middle of handling business and you thinking about the truth. <laughs> And you know what I mean, man. You know exactly what I mean. You'll be in the middle of handling business and you st and scriptures is flashing in your head. All right. And those who don't want to get on with the program, fuck them. They're going to find out the hard way. Romans three and three. All right. It says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yahweh forbid. Yeah. Let Yahweh be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged, and that's what's coming. We're going to be justified and we will overcome. And our faith will be victorious over these people. And Lord willing, we're going to be on this next spiritual arc that's coming. While everybody else drowns in their fucking sins and iniquity. All right. They're going to see who's bugged out. We're going to see who's the weirdos. All right. We seek that city to come. All right, so I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bakakurash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all I'd like to Akim, Wa Akwath, learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom.